G'day Taurus, gonna do your love energy coming towards you, update for the end of June. See what love energy is coming towards you, is that now? Could be someone from the past, present, future. Three cards please, let's do it. Ooh, we've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Ooh, someone wants to... Ascend the relationship to a higher level with you, Taurus. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Ooh, they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart about it. And very soon, cl clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. Ooh, Taurus. Very nice. Bottom of the deck, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So they're keeping an open mind, possibly about what you're going to say to them regarding this. Mm. All right, let's find out. Mm, I just saw the six of cups. <laughs> All right. Tell me about engagement, the love energy coming towards Taurus. Alright, we've got the King of Swords using their mind, logic, communication, and the Page of Cups. So Communication, being very mature with them, communication, and a message of love. That could be that, mm, offering some sort of commitment. Mm. <laughs> offering that love commitment. Could be an engagement. Bottom of the deck, ooh, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity. <sighs> That's the truth. The truth is they want this with you. It's hard to have conversations. Love energy coming towards Taurus. Can we get hard to have conversations, please? Okay, we have ooh, Nine of Swords, the Chariot, and ooh, the King of Wands. <sighs> Could be a bit stressed out about what they're going to say in this heart to heart conversation, but they do want to move forward triumphantly with you, and they're keeping their passions controlled. Okay. Mm, trying to keep their passions under control. They want to charge forward, but they're stressing out about this heart to heart, this honest conversation with you. Mm. <laughs> oh, bottom of the deck is seven of wands. Bit guarded. Might be worried about how you're going to react, what you're going to say. Mm. Bit worried that you might not want that commitment with them. Mm. Uh, it's very soon. It's very soon. Tell us about very soon. Hmm. Eight of Swords, well, <laughs> they're really stuck in their head about it. Quite a small. Tell us more, please. Whoa. Okay. So. Got the Eight of Swords, then we've got the Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, ooh, Seven of Swords, and then High Priestess and the Lovers. Alright, so very soon, they want to come in very soon, but they're stuck in their head about do they come in passionately, do they come in stably? Mm, they're trying to work out a strategy here. I don't see this as cheating line steel and I see it as strategy. So they're trying to use their intuition about what choice to make on how to come forward. <sighs> trying to 
trying to use their intuition on what strategy to use what choice to make do they come in passionately or do they come in mm. wow wow very soon they're going to make that decision on what the hell they're going to come in Ooh, the emperor at the bottom of the deck they want to they're trying to keep themselves under control be in control Mm, they're keeping an open mind, but some sort of control here. Ruling the empire. All feel four kings are all into one. They're trying to control everything. Their mind, their, their emotions, their passions, their stability. Mmm. Alright. Taurus. Let's see what else we get. What else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Taurus? Three cards, please. It's two, one more. Yeah, this is two, one more. Come on, one more, please. Oh, that's way too many more. That's a whole pile. That's three more, and that's too many. And they're face down, so nope. <laughs> Try again. One more. There we go. Oh! And the deck exploded with extra cards. The extras are work through your fears, hold your vision, and take time to breathe out. So... They're going to do that as well. <laughs> Alright, so what was going out was believe in the impossible with the blue moon. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Bottom of the deck is prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Ooh. So they want some sort of prosperity with you, some stable, want this to become more stable. Alright, well that's the emperor for you, isn't it? Okay, tell me about believing the impossible. I think they're trying to believe in the impossible when it comes to... Offering you something. Yep, there. There we go. Ooh. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Well, there's that Page of uh, Knight of Wands there. They want to come in passionately with a passionate message. Hmm. I don't think this is... Mm, King of Wands. There's lots of passion here. Passion, passion, passion. Believe in the impossible. I hope that passion will be enough for you to see them. Ah, King of Pentacles at the bottom. Stability. That they're offering something stable. Maybe they think it might be impossible to just come in with that passion. That might not be enough. That's why they're trying to decide between passion and stability. They think it might be impossible to just come in passionately. Might have to bring something else. So it's lucky it's on your side. Luck is on their side. We have, oh, there he is again, that page of cups again. Page of cups twice. And the eight of wands. So lucky's on their side. So they're also going to come in with some loving message. Oh, message of love. Which will get the messages flowing back and forth. Or they may travel to come and see you. So they might...
we well, yeah, they think it might be impossible just to come in with just passion, so they're coming in with love as well. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. Yeah, they're thinking really hard about this. Going deep within to think about how to come towards you. Mm, tell me about a new romantic cycle begins. Okay. Ooh, another page. Oh, there's lots of pages here. Uh, the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Mm. He's full of emotion, but he doesn't show it. And the Page of Swords gathers information, so... They might need more information on how to show their emotions. As this new romantic cycle begins, they may hold back a little bit just to see how you react. There's a lot of pages here, though. So they might come in a little bit immature. Two of two kings, but, and a couple of knights. Mm. But, yeah, they might be just holding back a little bit at the start when the romance begins. So they get a bit more info on how you feel about it. Ooh, we've got the tower. <laughs> Universe blowing stuff up. Changing things really suddenly. Oh, could be a quick change of... Ah, I got that will change quickly. Yep. Yeah, this will change quickly. They'll hold back until they find out a bit more information, but once they see that you're that you're all in pew, things are gonna change. Prosperity will lie ahead and Yeah, looking good. Looking very good. So they want to have a heart to heart about maybe being committed. Mm. Maybe you're just friends with benefits at the moment and they want something more. <laughs> mm. What a fire energy here, though. And water. Okay. Okay, what else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Taurus? What else can you tell us? Well, okay. Alright. We have... Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Well, they want to make new memories with you. Hammer. Ooh, sabotage, rebuilding, in interrogation, rep repetitive, persistent, working on it. See, hammers can build as well as hammers can break. Um, but I think they want to work on things. They want to work on it. They're going to be persistent. And kisses. Unconditionally loving. Giving and receiving. Affection. Falling in love. Aww. Ooh, bottom of the deck. Separation. Sadness. Missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning. Unsure of future. Yeah, I think they might be a little bit unsure about what's going to happen. Unsure about the future with you. That's why they're going to hold back a bit here. But, yeah, they're going to work out what to do very soon because they want this to move to a higher level of commitment, that's for sure. All right. And they're going to work on it. <laughs> they're working on it. <laughs> that passion could be all those kisses you're going to get. Could be kissing your photos. <laughs> Alright, what would this love energy coming towards Taurus? What would they like to say to Taurus? We have... I can't give you what you want. Ooh! They might be stressed out about that if they're... Because they are coming in as pages. 
I can give you what you want. Hmm, that's interesting. And I want you next to me. Yes, well, we know that. Two more, please. Here we go. I'm going crazy without you. Mm. One more. And I can't wait to see you again. Ooh. Bottom of the deck is please don't contact me. Hmm. Okay. I guess they want to be left alone to work out what they're going to do. They're trying to work on this, and if you contact them now, they're going to go... Blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, they're trying to be passionate and believe in, believe in the impossible with all their passion in their heart. Luck is on their side when it comes to love and the messaging. And the new cycle begins. Wow. Wow, Taurus. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. But yeah, while you're in separation, maybe just don't contact them. Wait for them. They'll contact you. Because, um, yeah. Something good could be coming in. Ooh. <laughs> I'm being silly now. All right. Well, that's your reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and got something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share all that good stuff and I'll be doing another reading next week but it might come a little bit late for July um see how things go but yeah can't guarantee it'll be out in the middle of the week it might be a little bit later but I'll do my best all right hope you enjoyed good luck all the best and I'll catch you later